Welcome back to another video. Um, before I start this video, I know I'm a small YouTuber, not that many people know me, but I would just like to say today I've came back positive for coronavirus. For anybody who hasn't caught COVID or might have COVID right now and just want to know how other people feel when they have it, right now I have a headache, um, I, have, I have a fever of 100 degrees, I have body aches, I feel very tired right now, and um, I have a runny nose, and my nose is still kind of sore from the, the swab that they made me take. I really put it up there because I was like, I just want to make sure that I get an accurate test. So I came back positive. Anyway, I'm not going to sit here and distract you about COVID, but if you have any questions about how I'm feeling, I don't know. But anyway, on with the video. So today is January 16th, and this is at 1 p.m. As you can see, we have winter storm Malcolm. This is going to start making its way out of the United States, bringing some heavy snow to higher elevations and rain to the warmer parts, you know. Nothing really that significant. And um, after this, we're, we're pretty clear, actually. Just some snow showers and maybe a smaller storm system over here. But, you know, we have some rain going on down here. But what caught my eye is, as you can see, by the time we get to the 22nd, this is 1 p.m. January 21st, but by the 22nd, um, you'll see we have something pretty significant forming. And um, that looks like this is going to be the next time we might see something pretty significant here in the United States. But um, that one's cool and all, but this is the one that really caught my eye. Now, this is really far out. This might not even happen, but it is definitely something to look into. Look at this major possible nor'easter that we've been looking into. I'm really excited about it because that looks like it's going to hit me. So just like with Winter Storm Gale, I'm going to keep a close eye on this, especially since it's going to be hitting my homeland. Definitely going to pay more attention to this one. This is the kind of snowstorm, I, if this snowstorm were to actually happen, this would be the kind of snowstorm that you would remember for years. I mean, look at these amazing snow totals. That, now, like I said, this is really far out. This is 10 days out to be exact. But but just like Winter Storm Gale, I was looking at that 10 days out and it actually happened. So I'm going to have hope for this because honestly, we need a snowstorm. But I mean like 17, I mean over a foot of snow in a lot of places in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and New York City. New York City could be seeing some pretty significant snow in the next 10 days. But since there's nothing really going on, let's just talk about the cold air that's going to be coming in place. Look at this cold air. Minus 26 degrees in some places in Minnesota. These aren't feels like temperatures. These are real temperatures. And even though this is really far out, I won't be surprised if we see temperatures like this because not only is it January, but like I keep saying in my previous videos, this, that polar vortex is going crazy. Take a look at the Northeast, who's also going to be getting hit pretty hard by this cold. Below zero for the most part. Pennsylvania, some of you are below zero. Most of northern New York, New Hampshire, Vermont, some of Maine, all below zero. I mean, look at how cold it gets. By the end of January, we're going to be going into February freezing. So basically, yeah, I'm sorry this video is very boring. Like I said, I'm sick. And I just wanted to put some video out there to let you know that, you know, I still want to post every day. Make sure you like and possibly subscribe. And thanks for watching. Another video tomorrow. It'll be much better. Hopefully, I feel more better.